Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Preacher Lawson. Go watch my special, My Name is Preacher. It's on YouTube right now. You hate podcasting. I hate podcasts. I just, you know, I don't know. I just think I'm not good at them. You know, hey. like I see people, and I see, I'm like, man, they're they're so good at telling stories and and just bouncing off. And I'm like, you know, I I I guess uh, maybe I get in my head a little bit. But I'm like, I, every podcast I'm on, I just bomb. I'm like, watch it. I don't even watch it back. I'm like, I bombed that one. God, you're not so, gonna bomb this one. Uh, I'm, I, I think I am gonna bomb it. That's okay. <laughs> I think I need a bomb so I can get comfortable. But what if you've had enough bombs and this is your time to fucking yeah, shine? That's what I'm. That's what I'm banking on. Yeah. I'm, I'm banking on this being a good, you know, good, funny, normal. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we have a great, great podcast. I just forget to record it. No. Oh, that would be hilarious. <laughs> That would be so funny. Oh, that's how it goes, though, right? It wouldn't be that funny. I'd be very sad. Yeah. But yeah, you, you have the, like, the best set ever, and then you don't record it. Always. Yeah. Always how it goes. Yeah. Well, since you you got a coffee, I'm going to drink this energy drink. But... Are you getting sponsored by them? No. <laughs> I was like, that no. wasn't even slick. Since you're drinking the coffee, it's I'm going to drink It's not even showing. It. Oh, yeah, it's not. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't have a sponsor. Why, just... why not get sponsored by them? That would be awesome. It's a pretty big brand. Maybe yeah, they'll probably. I mean, if anything, they'll just give you free. Yeah, some free stuff. Yeah, they'll give you f for free. I'm they just don't pay you. warning you because if I drink this, I may have to pee, but I really hope I don't. That's fine. I mean, as long as it's outside. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why you'd warn me about that. Pee so is pretty normal. So I'm not in my head yeah. because I have a really small bladder. Okay. Have you seen it or are you just assuming? Oh, it is the cutest little oh, thing. Oh, wow. I didn't know you could see your bladder. <laughs> No, um, doctor diagnosed. Oh, okay. Doctor said that. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I thought that's what people say when they have to pee a lot. Yeah, I did. And then I went to the doctor and they're like, yeah, you got... Oh, they said it's not normal. Not a normal bladder. That's... <laughs> does that feel good or bad to hear that? Um, what I tell myself is uh, it could be something much worse. <laughs> yeah, I guess... Could, what would be worse? What would be worse than um, that? Instead of peeing all you the time. You could have a big bladder. You could have a real big bladder. <laughs> hey, well, your bladder's massive. <laughs> you yeah. never I was, pee. I, I didn't even know. I haven't peed in four months. <laughs> I thought something was wrong. No, you just got a massive bladder holding all that water. <laughs> I think that would be that would be worse. Yeah. Um, let's, I want to talk about your special first because I know that's why you're doing these pod runs and <laughs> yeah. YouTube, uh, is not exciting when you look at the average duration time. <laughs> yeah. It drops off quick. Yeah. So I want to talk about your special first and then we can talk about whatever. Cause I want you, I watched it last night. Did you watch it? I watched it and wow. I loved it. Okay. You I gotta was, say that. Cause no, right no, no. Here. I'm a really bad liar. You <laughs> would totally know. <laughs> what, what, okay. So if it was trash, what would you say? Um, I think I would, I would say I, I loved it. I would say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but just, like now I can say it with like, you, I said, you have to say that cause you're in front of me. No, I don't. I would say the same thing. <laughs> But you know I'd be lying. That's I wouldn't. Not even, I wouldn't feel good what saying. What if I'm bad it? at like telling if people are liars? I'm not an FBI agent. How I'm would the I know? worst liar. Yeah, but what if I'm the worst at catching people lying? Then you have a great life. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm the best. I'm the best person to cheat on. I am like the best. If you ever ladies out there, you want to date a man and you want to cheat on him, I'm the guy. Because I'm not going to ask questions. I don't ask nothing. I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to know. You know that song? If you're, you're playing, playing me, keep it, it on the low. low. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. But um, so, I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm glad you liked it. I think it's funny. <laughs> it I was. Think it's really, I think if you like me, you're going to love it. And mm -hmm. I think if you don't like me, you don't like me. <laughs> like, you don't like me. Why are you watching this? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, I do think I'll, I'll have some people that are um, 
maybe not thought I was as funny that watching like oh he's kind of funny because I have definitely I've, I think I've grown you know throughout the years we all grow how long have you been doing stand up uh, eleven years eleven years okay cool how's that uh, where'd you start I was gonna talk to you about this Orlando Florida you started in Orlando yeah I wanted to hear what year you were there so I I was at UCF getting a business degree but wanting yeah. to go to L A just trying to get a degree to then go so then what like how did it see you though. So what I'm trying to think of the years of overlap. So I was like my junior and senior year. I took classes. Do you remember Saks Comedy Lab? Yeah, I used to go stand up there. A lot. <laughs> yeah. I used to stand. There was used to be a great. I mean, the audience was phenomenal because they're used to improv. So when you do actual bits, they just they're great. I didn't even know they did stand up because I was just doing improv there. Yeah. And then I took classes at the Orlando Improv. I did like two or three classes. With Which Carmen. one? Who was it? Gary Mankey, Carmen uh, yeah, Valone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so 2013. Yeah. 2012, 2013. When were you there? Um, I was. I moved there. I started comedy in 2009, and then I moved to. Uh, I moved to Portland in 2010. So I think around 2011, I was in. Uh, so 2011 to 2000, I was there for like five years. So we had overlap, but yeah. There's 20... no way. I did. I. How come I didn't? <laughs> I don't know why I didn't see you. But maybe that was when I was just doing sax, like improv, and I didn't start. Yeah, you I... had to just do improv. There's no way. I was at every open mic. I was at poetry <laughs> mics. I was at musical mics. I was at the comedy mic. I, w- I used to go to random restaurants and just be like, hey, can I do stand-up? Really? IHOP? Yes. <laughs> no, I was like so new i was just doing what i was like only the mics that people from the class are going to yeah, yeah and okay. i just did like the improv show the yeah. showcase so you said from 2011 to 2000 no so my last two years of college i think i graduated 2013 and then just moved right here um so 2012 2013 would have been the two years yeah i, I don't know i i didn't yeah I was, <laughs> I was i was i was up there though we were so close yet yeah, so yeah, yeah. far <laughs> i love orlando me too. I love Florida. I'm I from Florida, from oh, South okay. Florida. What part? Uh, like West Palm Beach. Oh, okay, nice. You're too young to be from there. Uh, well, we were in Fort Lauderdale, then we oh, moved okay. up, and then we just kept itchy, inching our way yeah, forward. Yeah, I love Florida. I know everything they say about Florida is true. <laughs> and it's like, I don't even care. Like, I just, I love Florida. Also, everybody there is fine. It's crazy. Yeah, the it like makes you. Everyone's in shape. Everyone is like, you know, they would they would talk about when you come to L.A. Everyone's attractive, and I got here, and I was like, they're not even Florida is winning. Like, I totally there's agree. There's so much more. Tra- it's crazy. Yeah. But uh, I I think that you know people in L.A. are more their face is pretty. There's a lot of pretty faces. Mm, but yeah, when you're in a bathing suit and tank top, flip flops, yeah. shorts, you have to kind of yeah can't it's, be rocking it's that. It's crazy. But if you notice the places that are warm, people look good in general. So if you go to like you go to like, uh, you know, uh, Arizona, it's, it's warm. And all the cold places, no one's worried about looking <laughs> sexy. You know, they're, they're like, I'm going to read some books. You well, know? They have winter body all year. Yeah, yeah. But the warm places, they're like, what's a book? And like, they're dumb. <laughs> but they look good, you know. Um, uh, but yeah, I yeah, I can't. I was in Alaska. Yeah, you ever been to Alaska? No. Yeah, don't. Uh, <laughs> it was, it, first off, it's oh. like, it's like 60%. It's like 60%, it's almost like 70% men or something like that. Really? It's like mostly dudes. Why? So the, the, the so it's a bunch of dudes competing for women that aren't trying that hard because <laughs> they're like, I don't got to try, you know? I remember getting like turned down by someone I wasn't even hitting on and I'm like, are you serious, bro? Like you <laughs> but it was just, it was, uh, pe- people in Alaska, like if you murder somebody, just move to Alaska, you'll be fine. Oh, good to You're know. Not gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in case. <laughs> you never know. But there's like a bunch of <laughs> there's a bunch of murderers down there, bro. Some dude. I mean, I was. <laughs> what I, the hell? The first day I was down in Alaska, they were fighting the cops. They were fist fighting cops outside of a bar. <laughs> I went inside the bar and there was like two lines. It was the most unorganized line. I was next in line, and me and my boy and this dude steps in front of me, and he was like, "I'll go in front of you, man. I think I'm next." <gasps> but he said it in a way like. I was looking at him. I'm like, brother, you know, I could, I feel like I can beat you up, and I think you know that, <laughs> you know. But he, I was like, you have like this gun energy, which he did. <laughs> gun energy is a thing. It's a thing, <laughs> and I can't beat up a gun. Oh, no, I can't even beat. I've never even punched anybody in real life. <laughs> I've never punched anybody. That's ever. impressive. Yeah, I mean, besides like sparring and stuff, but yeah, I'm almost- not a violent person. 
I've bitten somebody. You what? What happened with that? How'd you? Why'd you bite somebody? Orlando drunk girl. <laughs> it was uh, just one of those nights. That only happened once. I'm glad that that wasn't a repeat. I like how you said you bit somebody, and then like what happened? You're like Florida. That was the first thing you said. You didn't say this person stole my phone. No. Nope. You like you know us Florida people how we've been oh, done. Oh, we we just drank so much in yeah. college. It was that was just a crazy night. Yeah. Do you drink now? Oh, way less. So it's just like, oh, okay, it's uh, it's, it's a weekend. I'm gonna have a drink. Yeah, that's what oh, I'm trying okay. to do. That's what you're trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, that's how it's going. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's the goal. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. <laughs> That's so yeah. I I know Orlando's like super like party city, but I moved there when I was nineteen, turned to twenty. So I didn't go to I didn't go to college there. I was just doing stand up, and I was like uh, I moved down because my mom was living in Orlando. She was like, "Hey, stay with me. Then you can do stand up, and you can you live with me, and mm. it'd be cheaper." And then I I moved down there, and like the first you know couple weeks, she just moved to China, and I was like, what? "Okay, I know China. I know." Did she like it? She stayed there for eight years. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it eight years? Yeah, it was almost a decade. Almost About eight years. Wow. So she did like it. She speaks Chinese. She speaks Mandarin Chinese because I guess there's two. There's Mandarin and what's the other one? I don't know. Mandarin and, ah, oh, I forgot it. There's a second language. <clears throat> but, and she speaks, she speaks like five languages. But she loved it because you can, it's so close. You know how like people say Americans are lazy mm -hmm. because we don't, we only speak one language? But it's it's not that we're lazy. It's just America's massive. That makes sense. You know, and you when I was in Europe, you know, you you can fly. I mean, you got London right there. You got the, you know you got uh, England, and then you got Ireland and the Portugal, and then Barcelona, Spain, and then you got France. I mean, it's like forty five minute, maybe forty five minute flight. Like a like a thirty minute flight is here to Vegas. Yeah, that's you know? all we got. That's all we got. But like, <laughs> if you do that in Europe, you're in a different. Speak, you know, country. They're speaking mm -hmm. different languages, so it's just easier to do that. But it's like we don't speak different languages. We just make fun of other states. <laughs> you know, we do accents. Yeah, we do, we accents. do accents. That's yeah, as much yeah. as we can get. We can yeah. do. All right, let's hear some. Um, all right, here's my. Um, this is gonna be Northern Florida, because in Southern Florida we don't. We just pretend uh, like we're Hispanic, but we're really not. We just roll our R's because we want to sound like <laughs> yeah. we are ethnic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of Hispanic people down there. <laughs> yeah, my mom will roll her her R's sometimes, and my aunt. I used to always make fun of them. I'm like, you are white. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're fully white? Uh, fully white, Italian oh, okay. and Irish. You never know. Like when people see me, they just assume I'm fully black. What? Oh yeah, you're special. Yeah. You said Irish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your yeah, little yeah. leg cake. No, I'm black, <laughs> but I'm black. <laughs> I did, I, I did see that uh, had some Irish in me, thirteen percent, which is like crazy. Um, but um, yeah, I'm black. You know, I was just, you know, I've been black my whole life, <laughs> and it's cool, man. I like, I like being, I like being black and a man. I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I would be. Right now. Right now, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different. Yeah, I don't want to do no, not, no. not even. They say be very careful when you wish things and with your words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very safe. Oh. Um, this is another, before I forget, while we're on Orlando, um, this is so crazy. And when you said this in your special, I couldn't, like, I was like, ah! I found a chihuahua in Orlando, Florida. Oh, did you? And kept it. Oh, really? And I was like, no way did he just say that? Oh, what did he look, he or she? It was a he, and when I was going to move it out. It was a chihuahua, just a chihuahua. Ch yeah, mine was full oh, chihuahua. Oh, okay, cool. I'm like, maybe. <laughs> maybe. You know. uh, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's still, he's still in Florida? Yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, my mom had two chihuahuas, and one died, and the other one wasn't eating. So she, I was about to move out, and she was like, can you just bring yours here for a little bit? Yeah. And I was like, I can't just, I'm driving to LA. I had like no place to live. Just like, I'm going now. Yeah. So I was like, I can't bring the dog either. Same like thing. And then mine just stayed with my mom. Oh, okay. Nice. Your story didn't, I don't even. Yeah. It was like, I, I you know, it's, it's funny because I seen a couple comedians, I seen a couple comedians. There was uh, Tom Rhodes um, and there was um, um, Hannah, Dickens, Hannah Dickinson. And there was another comedian, but I had watched them tell stories. They tell they told a story, and it was like kind of emotional, mm -hmm. you know. Like I watched I watched Tom I watched Tom Rhodes on um, 
I watched him in a, at a festival, and there was a comedian that went up before him. Some some uh, some he was a southern comedian. I can't remember his name, but he crushed. I remember him crushing, but that was his whole thing. You, you know, mm-hmm. you can see you can see comedians on stage, <laughs> you know, and they're like trying to crush. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. okay, he's trying to crush, and he was. He was definitely crushing. And but but then <laughs> so funny. T- Tom, because you know what I'm talking about. I know exactly. Like, yeah, what you're well, they're talking like they're about. like putting, <laughs> you know, they're just putting the effort in, and you're like, okay, you're trying to, you know, which is do that, you know, uh, that's great. As long as it's working. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's it's awkward when it's not. But he was definitely his goal was to get as many laughs and as big, you know, and uh, he did great. And then Tom Rose went up afterwards, slower pace, and he told this he told this long story about. How you know, um, you know how his his just his girl his girlfriend broke up with him on his birthday, and it was just a very sad story. I just seen people wiping tears; they were like crying, mm-hmm. and I just and I and he brought him back out of that and got a laugh. And I was like, "What?" That's and I, thought, I thought that was yeah. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was beautiful, and I seen that happen, and I was like, "Wow, that's like that's like crazy." Because the next day, I didn't remember any of the jokes that Southern dude did. I don't. Mm-hmm. Remember, I can't. I can't tell you one joke. I just remember he crushed. <laughs> but I remember the story that you know Tom did, and I was like, "Oh, it's beautiful." And I was like, "I didn't know you can do." Yeah, I didn't know you could do stories about like uh, things that are sad, and then it would be okay. So, <laughs> so I remember that story being sad, and I was like, "Okay, I just try to like." stuff as much funny around it but try to get the story and I did the story and I it's funny because I got a punchline for it <laughs> when I taped my special no way but I've been trying to find a punchline for forever <laughs> and then I you know I couldn't find one and then on my special I was like I'll, I'll say it like this and I said it like that and I was like oh, okay this works you know so but just in time just in time <laughs> yeah yeah just in time my brother's name is Justin so he heard a lot of those come you know growing up <laughs> Like just in time, just in case. Oh yeah, man! Yeah, he was, yeah. So, yeah. Because my name is my nickname is Preacher. That's my nickname. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's my nickname. Uh, I got it when I was two weeks old. So like, um, to me, it's my it's my name. Like when people are like, "What's your real name?" It's like my real name is Preacher. You know. Yeah. But uh, you know, <laughs> that's what my mom's been calling me since I was Preacher. It's my she excuse me since I was two weeks old. She's always called me Preacher. My siblings they always call me Preacher. And so <laughs> growing up. We were like, your name could be just in case. <laughs> and he was like, that's stupid, man. Why would I be just in, just in case what? Just in case what? And just in case we don't think of another nickname. You could have, you know. He's jealous. He was so mad. Wait, so like, wait, your, what's your real name? My my real name is Preacher. Did you not just hear me? No, what? no, no. no my, my, you... birth name is, my birth name is Jovan. You didn't say that in the special. No, you said the nickname thing, right? Yes, yeah, I said that my nickname is Preacher, but okay. I, my, you know, I have, I didn't say my birth name. Okay. Which is, you know, just so people can't Google me, but they can Google me now, I guess. But <laughs> we'll just bleep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's it's up there. If you look okay. hard enough, if you you'll find my name. But uh, it's just, you know, but um, you know, like what's his name? Uh, Jamie Fox. That's not his name. So many celebrities. What's his real? Do you know his real it's name? It's like Eric. Eric Smith or something like that. It is crazy the list of celebrities who like, but you have like a cool nickname. That's not just like a regular name. There's so many celebrities who just like I'm not my real name's Amy, but I go by Brittany. Like you're like this doesn't even make it's the same name. <laughs> the same name. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> you just exchange a top fifteen white girl name for a top ten. That doesn't even yeah. No, I don't get it. Yeah. But yours yours is good. It's annoying. I didn't choose it. I wasn't like trying to be like <laughs> prolific with my oh I gotta have a there's gotta be a name I gotta stick out, you know I just I used to go on stage as as Joe Vaughn and it felt weird it feels weird saying it. I don't even say it but um <clears throat> I like my name I think it's cool but I just don't go by it yeah, I mean I will it is a cool name yeah once uh something you know like I uh, if I blow up and then I get canceled I'll just come back. <laughs> Like Meta World Peace, you know, Ron Artest. We just switch it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll, just, I'll switch it up. That was preaching. This is Joe Vaughn. Joe Vaughn don't do that. <laughs> he doesn't do stuff like that. You're ready. You got it on the back. I'm ready. Burner. Ready. I'm ready. I hate it. My real name's Amanda, and my it doesn't even sound like my name. And wait, you're you lied to me? No. <laughs> you, wait, you did lie. Your, your name's Amanda. No. You've been going by Mandy this whole time. <laughs> Wow. 
Oh, uh, okay. yeah, okay, cool. Javon. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Who are we? I know. We're liars. That's cool, man. <laughs> I don't like it, though. I wish my real name on my birth certificate was Mandy because, like, when it comes to, like, my name and systems, like, like, when I make a, ho- a, a po- doctor's appointment or anything, I'm like, it's either under Mandy or Amanda. Like, they're like, we don't see it. Like, it, I just always say Mandy because I've never been called Amanda. Yeah, that makes sense. But I like Mandy. That just sounds... I mean, Amanda's cool, too. Like, you know, Amanda Bynes, she made that really cool to be Amanda. Remember <laughs> yeah, she, her? Yeah, she did. She's in trouble now. Yeah. But, you know, I wish her the best. Send her the love. I seen her on TikTok, and then I just seen a random TikTok, and they had a bunch of, like, comments, and, you oh, know, and yeah. I was, and it was, and the top comment was, I can't believe it's Amanda Bynes. I was like, what? <laughs> you know the comments in the way you swipe? What? Hell, what? <laughs> I was like, that's Amanda? Yeah, it that's was crazy. very jarring at first. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she's she got time, hopefully, to do like a whole Lindsay oh, Lohan. Oh, for sure. She could come she back. Is, she's young. She's yeah. not, she's like in her mid, she's like in 30s, right? Yeah, I think she's like my age. Yeah. And my mom and I were just saying like, how old are you? Thought, I'm 33. How old are you? You're 33? Yeah. Dang. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> she doesn't have time. I didn't know she was that old. No. When's your birthday? You're a 90s baby? Uh, yeah, 90. Oh, okay. When are no, you? I, I turned 33 last week. Oh, my gosh. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm a little bit older than you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Having this kid on my podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Yo, one thing, it's, it's so weird that, like, when you get, like, 30, like a 33-year-old dating a 30-year-old, that's not weird. No. Like, that's normal. There's that one. There's that one dude that got in trouble. I don't even know if this is just funny. It's not funny. There's that one basketball player that got in trouble, and then Josh. I forgot. His, he's on the Oklahoma City Thunder or whatever. Okay. But he was like, he was like 19, but he got in trouble for messing with like a 15, 16 year old. That's yeah. When that's like the closest. When, age. when they're younger, it's like we're not this bad. He needs to be in jail, you know. Like, but if there was like 20 years older. Yeah, 20-year-olds yeah, 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 20 yeah. dating 40-year-olds or whatever. That's pretty much the average 20-year-olds dating 40-year-olds? I feel like the Hollywood, like, guy to female, like, stereotype. I could never date, uh, I could never date, uh, I can't date anyone that's under 27. I think that's a good, a good cutoff. Yeah. Isn't it like you add... <laughs> What's the word? What do you do? You like add something and you sub- you divide it by. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I just I just you know I can't um, you know because a young I don't know I just the, if you were born I, I just yeah I I can't I just can't talk to them. You yeah, know? it's a big gap, and also like when you like we know how we felt when we turned thirty. Yeah, and like after, I feel like such a better person. Like, I'm so much more grounded, and, like, it's such a big difference. Like, yeah. those years make su- – if you're working on yourself, Yeah, for sure. And you usually are. Yeah, most and people. even if you're making mistakes, that's a form of working on yourself. For sure. You know, I, for me, I had to mess up a bunch. Oh, I, I always learn by right? fucking up. Yeah, I had to put my <laughs> finger in the sock. Oh, that shocked me. Ah. Was that sh- – okay, it did. Just to uh-huh. make sure. Let me – you know, like, I, I had to keep messing up. But – I mean, that's just, I mean, it's funny because when I was, you look back as a kid, you're like, you know, when you're in your your 20s, you look in your teens, you're like, that kid was an idiot. Mm-hmm. And then you get in your late 20s and you're like, man, that dude in his early 20s, he was an idiot. <laughs> and then you get to your 30s and you're like, man, that, that dude in his teens, he was just a kid. You know, yeah. like, they were just a kid. <laughs> just a baby. And then you look at your 20s, you were an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you're an idiot. Looking back is so weird. Yeah. It is so weird. Especially thinking like like all the stuff your mom's done and I think about all the things my mom has done. Like I feel like when you see like your parents' lives, yeah. how many different lives they've lived. Yeah. How old were you when you forgave your parents? <laughs> <laughs> How old were you like, oh, that was hard? <laughs> Probably 30. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, bro, I was like in my I was like in my thirties. So I was like, wait a second, like this is you was raising like because when my mom when my mom was 33, you know, I was like, I was like I was like uh I guess like seven or something like that. Yeah, so same. Yeah, so I was eight, my bad. But um yeah, I, I <laughs> could you imagine having an eight-year-old like Oh, no, that's wild. I was yeah. asked my mom the other day. I mean, I guess I could have done the math, but I was just talking to her like a joke I was working on. And I thought she was 20. She knew she was 26 when she had me. And I was like, yeah, I 25. Was, my mom was yeah. 25. It's crazy. It's it crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like we like I was taking improv classes and living in a studio yeah. apartment. I'm like, what? It's so different. Yeah. 25. 
Yeah, 25 years old. I, that's when I first got on America's Got Talent. I got my first big boost or whatever. But I feel like when I was 25, I was pretty <laughs> I was pretty mature. I mean, I was I was it's weird because I was like when I was 25 I was just not doing anything. I was trying to be, I was focused. I was driven. I was broke. So I had no time to mess around. <laughs> and then when I started making money and then when I got in my late 20s, I was like, I'm going to be a bad person. Like, <laughs> I, I, was, I was like, I'm going to try this out, baby. <laughs> Take it first, man. Yeah, what is that? We right in? I was like, you know, I'm just, I'm just like, I'm just not going to be like, because I remember people saying, I remember this quote when I was a kid. They're like, be the person that you want your daughter to date. Oh, right, yeah. so I remember when I was like in my twenty five. I was like, yeah, I, I would want it. I would want my daughter to date a guy <laughs> like me. And then, and then when I was like twenty nine or something like that, I'm like, stay away from me. <laughs> that ain't my problem. What you not like? You know, like I just was like a not. I just didn't. I feel like everyone goes through their their black Spider Man. Remember that movie where he turns into a he turns a spot. He's like the he turns. Which is, I don't know why they make him black, but. <laughs> But <laughs> when he becomes evil, he also has a black suit. Uh oh. Yeah, what a queen. Uh, no. Hollywood. But uh <laughs> but you know how he like turns into like a villain for a little bit? Yeah. And he's just kinda like and he has to get find his bearings and be like, Oh man, I wouldn't let me get my life together. <laughs> that's what so you that's did. that's what it felt like with me. I was like, I was good, then I was like villain, and I'm like, you know what? I think I'm a I think I'm <laughs> I think I'm ready for kids. <laughs> you know? I think I'm ready now. You had to experience it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you do you feel like it changed you for the better? Yeah, I don't know if you need experiences. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you need them. You know, if you get them, that's great. Uh, Sometimes. Yeah. But like some people, like um, <laughs> some people, you know that that uh, that um, idea. You got to get out your system. Yeah. They're like, you got to get out your system, so when you settle down. You won't be worrying about. What, like, what did I miss out? What did on? I miss out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So <laughs> here's my thing. That's like saying, why don't you before, before you decide <laughs> to like be sober and do every drug, and and then after you're done doing every different drug and feeling all those feelings, just be sober. But your body's gonna be like, but what well, man? Yeah. That one feeling. <laughs> You you can't go back. Yeah, it's you can't like it go doesn't. Back. I don't think he's. I don't. I don't know about that experience. Everything. <laughs> That's kind of wild. I don't know how we got on that subject. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You're like I'm from Orlando, and I'm like crack. <laughs> That's the thing they talking about. Man, listen, to that thing, crack. Look, it depends how you make it. <laughs> I used to sell it in my garage, and I'm like, where did I? Where did I get here? I don't know how I got here, but um. Anyway, but yeah, man, I used to live in Orlando. It was great. That's crazy. My mom was 25. Oh, I have to ask, because everyone watching your special probably wants to know, like, I why did your friend do that? Give your dog oh, away? Man. I was so, like, this is why everyone will remember it, too, and the emotional things. I was like, it was like the, how a movie ends sometimes, and you're like, what the fuck? No. Or like the end yeah, of it, you're yeah, like, yeah, I need, yeah. no. Why did yeah. why did they do that? Um, what? I think I maybe didn't put them in the best position, you know? So I think that, like, so I remember I had a falling out with a friend. We're cool now. But mm. we had a falling out. Because I hired them to do something, and I in, a, in the back of my head I'm like they're gonna be too overwhelmed. They get overwhelmed a lot, mm -hmm. and and then they they kind of crash. So I remember I hired them, and then it happened. <laughs> they got overwhelmed, then they crashed, then we kind of like fizzled. Then they was like, you know, I'm sorry. And then we got cool again. But it's like I didn't I didn't really blame them so much as I blame myself. Mm -hmm. So I could have uh, you know I was upset that they did that, but I shouldn't have put my friend in that position if that makes sense it came off that way in the special like it didn't it seemed like you understood what they did yeah yeah i i, I kind of was like i kind of was like um you know it sucks that that happened but it's like what am i gonna do or but i, I just wish they would have hit me up so i could have found a home yeah it's crazy you know? that they didn't yeah it was stupid it was very stupid but it was like okay it wasn't out of character i'm like yeah i was dumb yeah. You, yeah. Look at you doing a dumb thing again. You know? Like, there's certain things you shouldn't trust me with. Like, I can't. What's something you shouldn't trust me with? I'm sure there's something you shouldn't trust me I with. I know something we can't trust you oh, with. What? April Fool's. Oh, you you can't. Yeah, you shouldn't. Every year. 
year you year. get me. I am going to get you again this year. <laughs> it's crazy because it's coming up soon. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a good one, too. I do. Oh, I'm like, no one's going to even realize. <laughs> I'm prepared this year. Okay. I don't know how it took me so long last year. I'm going to make out with a dude on camera and be like, I'm gay. Just playing <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> oh, it's like a I full. was just playing. <laughs> it's a full-blown porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like doing a porn. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> oh, man. Only links. You know, only fans link is, you know. Oh, my God. No. Uh, <laughs> you, you can't say I'm joking after that. No. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just playing. <laughs> April uh, Fool's. <laughs> Your hair just sticking up. Like, it just... <laughs> no, I, oh I, I got a good God. one. I got a good one. Okay, well, I still will try to prepare myself for I love it. April Fool's. I love <laughs> I love trolling people. I, I, I had to slow down. I've done a bunch of trolling that got me in a bunch of trouble. Really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what did you do? Man, oh, uh, man. Which one? Um, there was one story. Uh, man, I'm like, which story should I tell you? I mean, there was there was a there was one time I faked like I got married. Did you? I don't know. If yeah, you, okay. I totally fell for that yeah, one. Yeah. That, that was, was a, that was in February. It was on it was on it was on Valentine's Day. Oh, because I was just like, this would be funny. Like, I've never posted this girl in my entire life. I haven't. Not not only have I never posted her. I haven't posted a girl in like years. So I'm like, no one's, everyone's gonna know that I'm not. I'm joking. So I did a bunch. I did a photo. I found a girl. I just put Atlanta models, and she had the hashtag, and I hit up a few people. They all hit me back, but two of them hit me back mad late. And then she hit me back. I was like, yeah, I'm trying to fake like I'm getting married. You down? She's like, yeah, what's the pay? And I'm like, you get, I said, you'll get some followers. That's your payment. Uh -huh. And she's like, all right, down. So we went and got an outfit. We did photos. Uh, we did a whole video. <laughs> we didn't even put the video out. We did I didn't video. See a video, yeah. But we, yeah, because I because it got bad. What? <laughs> it got bad. <laughs> We're like getting the outfit. You know, I'm talking to. Her. I'm like, yeah, you know, you know, appreciate you doing this. And I'm like, you don't got no crazy dude out there. Yeah. And, you know, she's like, good nah, question. Nah, nah. You know, no, nah, nah, nah. I was like, okay, cool. And then we just like, you know, <clears throat> we did the photo shoot and all that stuff. I posted it, blew up, and celebrities were hitting me up. <laughs> And I was like, I didn't know y'all knew who I was. <laughs> and so I was like, that was like, that was the second prank I did. I, the first, I got to tell you the first one I did. But so I, I, so I had people hit me up and I, that was the most likes, most comments I've ever gotten on oh, anything. No. And then I was like, oh, snap, I should delete this. And so, And then I started getting threats from her baby daddy. <gasps> So there was a man involved. So there was a man. You even asked. I, I did ask. And I was he was like, I, I knew about it because he was threatening my mom. He's talking about killing her and what? killing me. And I was like, bro, like you put in you put in writing that you're gonna kill us. That's evidence for yeah. you to go to jail. What the hell? You know? And uh I was like, I hit up the girl with the screenshot. I'm like, yo, why is he threatening my mom? Yeah. And then she's like, oh, don't worry, I'll just block him. No. That's not the point. That's the point is, is I asked you if there was a crazy dude. You said no. And then you said just block him. What? So uh, I did block him. And I blocked her. <laughs> I blocked everybody. Good. And then it was just, and then I got multiple guns. I had so many guns. Oh. I was in Atlanta, so it's easy to get guns. You can give them a Walgreens <laughs> receipt. They don't need ID. you like, hey, man, I'm over 18. And they're like, are you sure? And I'm like, trust me. They're like, all I need to know. <laughs> and they just give me guns. It was great. So I just, you know, but it was, uh, that was a, a prank I did. Another prank I did was <laughs> I, I, on April Fool's, I, I made a video about how I found my, my dad hit me up. <laughs> I've, so I've never met my dad. So I did a video where I was like crying tears. <laughs> on command. It was great. I was like, I don't know why he hit me up, you know, and I was crying. And then people start, that's another thing. Celebrities started hitting me up. And they started blowing. They were like, they were like, man, that's amazing. And I sent it to Howie because I was like, hey, it's it was blowing up faster than anything I've ever posted. <laughs> and then so I sent to Howie. He's like, Howie's like, first off, that's amazing. You need to send this in self with self tapes. He said, but delete it right now. Mm. He said, delete it. And he said, don't post for a little bit. Just let it die down. Get off the radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I did that. And then uh, but <laughs> I, I had a friend I had a friend that hit me up about my dad. She didn't even realize I was joking until, like, I want to say early this year. 
<laughs> so it was God. like four years of, <laughs> each of her thinking my dad hit me up, and I didn't tell her I was joking. But oh. uh, because I deleted it and I just stopped talking yeah, you about just it. Moved on. But yeah, yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> There's probably still a bunch of people that think that's real. Yeah, maybe, but it's not. <laughs> He's still missing. Secrets out. April Fool's on me. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. He's so. still missed. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, I, I think not having, for me, not having a dad is like not being the only child. You mm-hmm. know? Like some people don't have siblings. Yeah. And, I, you know, they're probably like, oh, I wish I had siblings. The only difference is when you have a father, there's, you know, financial support that helps out. And also, like, just different things that, like, my mom taught me a lot, but there's some things that it would have helped if I had a dad. Like, her saying, I can't have a, I did a joke about it in my special, but her saying, I can't have a girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Until I'm 16. If I had a dad, I think he'd be like, uh, he could have a girlfriend. <laughs> you know? Because she just taught me to be scared of women. <laughs> you know? So, uh, but you don't do that. Don't teach, you, you, you suppress, you suppress them. <laughs> you know? And then people are like, women. <laughs> but it, you know, so. Yeah, I think it's crazy thinking though, like even that like small thing, like you, is you did you really not have your first kiss till eighteen? Yeah, I was eighteen playing truth or dare. It's crazy. Yeah. But if you had a dad, I think just that one change yeah. would completely have changed your entire path. Yeah, I think I think she was because my mom she would always tell me she's like, well, my my dad said I couldn't, you know, have a girlfriend, excuse me, a boyfriend until I was eighteen, and I, I think it makes more sense. For women, because mm. women, they're not so much hunters. They're just hunt. You know, like they don't, they don't go, they don't go after men, and men go after women. Mm. And especially now, they don't really do that. They just kind of go do it on the <laughs> internet. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah. So I think that would help out if I had. But otherwise, I'm. I, I think I'm fine. I think it'd be more important to have a mom than a dad. Like if you had to choose one, mom all the way. Yeah, I think I'd choose a mom. I think you know, yeah. I think I'd be a. I I don't need. I I think I'd be a a good dad. I think you'd be a great dad. Well, why are you laughing? Because <laughs> of the face she you made. <laughs> what face did I make? It was just like a sweet smile. Yeah, no, she's trying to. She she doesn't think I'd be a good dad. No, I think you'd be a great dad. Okay. Hey, would you feed? Um, I'm. Would you feed your kids? No. Would you raise your kids vegan? Yes. I'm back to vegan. Are you? Yeah, I was it. For, oh, let's go. Yeah. Awesome. I was vegan for a little while, and then I stopped, and then I've started again. And I only stopped because, like, the situation. Like, yeah. it's it's really hard. Um, but now my biggest struggle is, and the only times I've cheated, is when I'm on the road. Yeah. Holy shit. There is nothing in middle of America, especially comedy clubs. How many times can I eat the hummus? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just go to grocery stores. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to like. Yeah, I just go to grocery stores because grocery stores have everything. They have it's not it's not hard. To, it's it's no restaurants. Mm-hmm. So as far as like cooking, that sucks. But if worst case scenario, you know, I'll get a I'll get a banana. I I get I will get hummus. And honestly, I, I try to eat more for fuel. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's not. I try to not use it as a vacation. I hit this and it's moving. Oh, it always does. That's okay. Okay, because I'm like, man. Oh, it's fine. It's <laughs> hey, that's the goal, though, with food. I mean, that's like my whole downfall of like, I'm like a yo-yo diet is like, yeah. you have to just eat it as fuel and you feel so much better. And eating yeah, vegan, I, I feel, feel so much better. So how long have you been vegan? Now I'm back on a couple months. Nice. Before I did it for, I don't know, six months, a year. I did it for a while. Nice. And then. Why? Why did I want to? Yeah. Because I, I wasn't feeling good. And then when I did it, I felt great. Okay. Like, Thai energy-wise, bloating, even, even though now I'm bloated again. Um, <laughs> just think of just being a girl. Um, yeah, it wasn't, like, any, like, animal thing. I just kind of wanted to, like, be healthier. And now, like, with what I've learned is, like, down the road. Like, I don't want any, like, long-term, yeah. like, crazy things to happen yeah. to my body. And it seems like the research is like... <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like. I mean, you know, but I mean, I guess you can find research for anything you want to do. But I, I, I feel good being a vegan. If I didn't, I wouldn't be vegan. Mm-hmm. And people say the food's nasty. And I'm like, if, honestly, if the food was nasty as a vegan, I, I wouldn't be. No way. I the, wouldn't be vegan. The food is so good. Yeah, it's good. It's and like good. I like how much food you can eat. Yeah. You could eat so much food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, no, I love it. But yeah, I, I would absolutely raise my kids vegan. I mean, if they do, they, they decide 
on their own that they don't want to be vegan, then that's what they decide to do. I don't care what my kids decide to do. Yeah. You know, I, I, I just want to, I want them to be happy. I follow that one guy who's been vegan his whole life. You know, that one like weightlifter vegan dude that's, I forgot his name. I, I know he's shredded. He, he's shredded. He's like shredded. <laughs> Uh, and he was in Game Changers? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know his name, but I just I remember looking at him. I was like, he almost looks like me. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what almost. I have to tell you? <laughs> you guys are twins. We're twins, My yeah. mom, uh, and I think what she meant by this is that she meant to say you're jacked. But what my mom <laughs> said, she goes, you should. <laughs> She's gonna, she listens to every episode. She's going to hate that I said this. She goes... He's a big dude, so you should like get in like some food, like make sure there's food ready for him, like <laughs> it, like snacks or something. <laughs> Wait, so, <laughs> for this podcast, like I'm gonna eat. That's what I said. I said, "Mom, I can't get food ready for him." <laughs> <laughs> that's that's such a mom thing. And I, I that's said, such a maybe he's hungry. That's what she said. She said maybe he's hungry. I ate before I came. And I said he's gonna eat before he comes here. I little legit came straight <laughs> from eating. To come here. And I was a little uh, early and I was like, let me grab a coffee because I had to wake up right <laughs> at 5 a.m. But 5 a.m. today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like three podcasts already? <laughs> I did. I did 12 radio stations. Oh, shit. So I'm trying to like promote, you know, I don't know if people listen to radio anymore, but uh, I was trying to, I'm trying to promote this special in my tour. So I think they still do listen to radio. I okay, think it's still cool. like one of the number one surprisingly really? platforms. Okay, good. I only have radio in my car unless I guess my Bluetooth, but I still listen to it when I'm just drive to the gym and okay, back. Okay, nice, nice. So <laughs> not nah. a waste of time. Not a waste nah. of time at all. You go to the gym every five to six days a week. Oh yeah. <laughs> I thought you said every five to six days. <laughs> <laughs> a week. No, okay, I love go, go. lifting. It makes me feel yeah. so good. Yeah, I feel great. If I'm, if I'm, if I feel depressed, mm -hmm. right? I'm a. I feel like I'm super happy. I'm very. I'm a very happy guy, and I'm very positive. I feel that way. But I do get sad, and I feel, you know, I feel dark. Even though I'm, yeah, I'm black. I don't mean <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? I feel dark. I am dark. I'm Charlie. No, but I, I do get it feel dark sometimes, and I it, it's always because either I'm not hitting the gym, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not eating right, uh, I'm I'm not sleeping, yeah, uh, or I'm not like on stage, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. I could not agree more. Yeah. Those are like, I get, because I'm a very happy person too. I, and like, are you, is your mom a happy person? My mom is super happy. So is my, both of my parents are That very... means she flips. <laughs> <laughs> right? Does your mom flip? You do not want to <laughs> see my her mom, anger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh. It's scary. Yeah. Because it's not her norm they don't ever. don't do that. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. I do not want to think about it. It's like, <laughs> it is the scariest thing ever. I'm like, I really did something bad then. Yeah. I got a friend, I got a friend named. Darren uh, Moore, he's the nicest, kindest dude. Like I make fun of him because he's so like positive. Like we can drive, we'll be driving and there's nothing, and he'll find something beautiful. Like oh my gosh, <laughs> the way the tree is slanted to the oh my, like he think he just thinks everything is just so beautiful. He's so positive. And one time there's a fan, there's a, I got a couple fans that come see me. Like sometimes they'll fly to different cities. You have little and groupies. I guess yeah. Well, I don't think they're groupies because groupies you usually sleep with, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sleeping with them. Roadies. Roadies. That I sounds guess. more sexual though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just have. Uh, fans. Just, yeah, I have fans. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> but sometimes they'll go and you know they're uh, they just so I see them all the time and then one fan was, you know. Uh, there was a guy that was like trying to take advantage of her, right? And uh, so, so we know her, and she was like, "Hey, someone's trying to say, you know." So we were like, "All right, we're going back." And then I remember he was, you know, my my boy called. We called her, and he was there, right? And so, you know, Darren was with me. He's like, "Hand him the phone," and then he had the phone, and he changed to like, "We're gonna kill your whole family." Oh shit! You know what I mean? He just changed it like, "Man, you messed up, man!" Like. It, <laughs> But it was like crazy how it was weird because it switched. It scared me. <laughs> I was like, Brett, I've known him for years. I know him for over a decade and I've never seen that side of him. But uh, he was like really like mad and really protective. 
And uh, it was just kind of like, yeah, it was crazy. But yeah, um, going be your mom. What were we? Sorry, I, know, I, I, I keep is, doing that. This is how I talk. That's I keep, how you talk. Yeah. Oh, so you um, go to the gym, be healthy, and your mom being mad. Um, I don't know where. Oh yeah, my mom wanted me to feed you. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> how does she know who I am? Um, I think stand up. Oh wow, cool. She knows all the comedians. She knows. Yeah, she knows a lot of them. Awesome. So I said, hey mom. <laughs> Hey, honestly, if she would have brought food, I would have ate it. <laughs> so I mean, you weren't you weren't that off. You know? <laughs> what I did do though is because you're special, you had so many water bottles, and yeah. I put the smallest water bottles out. Oh, thank you. But I put two ugly ones below if you wanted more uh, waters. Ugly ones? They like the the basic like water bottles. I can't see it, but I believe they're hiding. It. <laughs> that's the craziest thing is like now that I, I drink so much water i'm always thirsty it's so weird that the more water you drink you're just always thirsty yeah water is great it's my this favorite. is i'm actually sponsored by water <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> so i'm glad we got to plug that yeah um yeah i i i, I try to drink um at, at minimum a gallon a day that's good but I have that like hydro jug. I don't know if you've seen one yeah. of those. I have one of those babies. Put them on. Put them on the pod. That's our ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> That's just laughing. That's funny. Hello? Oh, hi, thank God. Hello. Hey, what do you mean, thank God? Guys, <laughs> I want your advice. What oh, you want my advice? Hold on, hold on. You're live. Hold on. You're live. We're on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, bye. Okay. Okay. I'm not talking about this. Okay, yeah, yeah. Later. Okay, okay. I'll call you right after, okay? Uh, good luck. Okay, bye. All right, bye. <laughs> okay. That's so funny. That would have been I fun mean, if it great. was a good one. We could have given some great yeah. advice. I mean, I didn't want her to put it out there. <laughs> we would have cut and it. Then, we would have yeah, cut yeah. it. She's, uh, she's great, though. She's That's my, that's like my, that's like my best female friend. Chappelle Lacey's my best guy friend, and he said that um, he was like, you're going to have so much fun with Preacher. Oh, did he say that? He said, when he did my podcast, I had the most fun I've ever had. Oh, did he say that? That's yeah. awesome. I remember <laughs> cracking up. I was having, I had a good time with him. But yeah, he's awesome. Man. He's a really, uh, I think we're a lot of, I think I'm, I'm a lot, I think we're a lot of like, he probably doesn't think that. But like, <laughs> I like watching him. I'm like, man, I had that experience too, man. You know, I'm like the less gangster version of him. <laughs> You know, like Don't like a Chappelle yeah, gangster yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. That is That's funny. what I'm saying. <laughs> because like to even That's think of him, you're so like, he's funny. not gangster. And I'm even he's gangster <laughs> to me. You know? Oh like, my god. Well, I mean him him beating up his teacher is pretty gangster, bro. Yeah, he's That's, done he's done yeah, some yeah. shit. I've he's never dead. ever beat up my teacher. I got choked out by a teacher when I was like eight. <laughs> Why? Because I, I was black. What? And, yeah, he choked me out. Holy man. shit. Yeah, he stopped laughing. <laughs> Damn, I'm like No, this was in Oregon. I remember getting choked out. Oh. And then my, my mom tried to kill this dude. I'm sure. It's so, so funny. I mean, it wasn't, it's funny now, but at the time, yeah. I was like, I can't breathe. Jeez. Did you ever talk about that on stage? It's probably That's too dark. That's not funny. That's what I said. That's probably too dark. Yeah, it's too dark, <laughs> man. That's too dark. Oh. But no, I love I love Chappelle. He's, he's dope. He's awesome. Yeah. Very he's, funny. He's fun. Yeah. My uh, she's that's Rachel. Her name is Rachel. Her Hi, birthday's Rachel. tomorrow. Oh my gosh! What's happy up, happy birthday, Rachel! Be happy belated birthday by yeah. this. No, it's tomorrow. Oh, when's it coming out? Wednesday. Oh, okay. I'm gonna skip some so we could put yours out right away since the special is out. Awesome. Yeah. I appreciate that. We're there. Um... You're getting skipped. Oh, sorry. Can they hear us? Um, it's actually a comedian that lives next door. So oh, really? We're fine, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And I was making the podcast room. I was like, I have nothing to worry about. Oh, that's so awesome. So it's great. You just hear my cackle all day. <laughs> 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 so loud. Yeah. Um, oh, I wanted to say I love because like I've talked about my mom a bunch. I love that you had your mom bring you up. Yeah. That's got to be like the most special thing in the world. It's awesome. I had my brother announce me for my first special. Nice. So, I'm going to have I'm going to have my sister announce me for my 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 third special. Is that all of them? How no, and then I have another brother that I haven't <laughs> I haven't spoke to in years. So you have He's, time. Yeah, and then we're going to be cool again somehow. 
<laughs> and then he's going to announce me on my fourth special. All right, that's perfect. Yep, that's how it's going. And then in that fourth special, you could talk about how you guys got back together. And... That's the whole plan. <laughs> that's the whole plan. That's it's never going to happen, but oh. it's never going to happen, but it's all good. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you know how people say maybe things like, uh, <laughs> 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 you're like, actually, no. <laughs> you know? Like, you're being optimistic. That's what that is. Yeah, knowing nothing. It's not nothing. real. Knowing you know? nothing, too. <laughs> you know how some people are like, you're f- when someone's like, I'm never going to find anyone, and then someone's like, you know, no, don't say that. Eventually, <laughs> you know how many single old people there are? A lot. There's so many people that haven't found anyone. <laughs> My mom hasn't found anyone. That's how sad. And she but knows like, tons of languages. But there's time. There's time, there's Mom. There's time. My mom is dope. That's why I'm, maybe she's crazy. I think my mom might be, because I think I like her because she's my mom. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't see what's, what's wrong the with her. The blindfold, yeah, the yeah. mom No, I do see what's wrong with her. But I see what's wrong with everybody. Everybody yeah. jacked up. For sure. Everybody jacked up. It's like, are you doing a relationship? It's like, hey, this is my, this is where I'm jacked up right there. <laughs> oh, that's where you jacked up? Oh, that's different things. We can work with each other yeah. on our jacked upness. <laughs> no, but I, I don't, I don't, um, uh, you know, you know, I don't know. I don't know if um, I, I was gonna go back to my. I don't know. Sometimes you 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 know it doesn't happen. Sometimes you don't get in a relationship. Sometimes it, you don't like get cool with certain people. But it, it really is. It honestly is not. It's not the end of the world. Like it can't be. Nothing can't be perfect. Mm-hmm. It can't be perfect, and it's boring. Yeah, for sure. It's boring. You know, people gotta die. <laughs> you hear that? I'm just like, I'm just like, it's coming from two happy be people. Sacrifices. You're gonna die. They gotta be made. <laughs> no, no, but uh, yeah, I, 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 um, I like all. I mean, I, I appreciate all the good things, but I appreciate the bad things. You know, you have to. You got to. That's. Um, I always. I've said this a bunch on here, and we talked. We don't actually. Not get this. In the, I was gonna say, as a happy person. It, the hardest part about being a happy person is like when you're not happy. You're not happy. I'm <laughs> yeah. so bummed that I'm not happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm so spoiled in the happiness. Yeah. That the down is like, what the hell, man? Get was, it back. Was the last time you've been down? Uh, it probably was like not getting enough shows. Yeah. That will make me so depressed because yeah. like that's my passion. So what do you? How many times do you perform a week? Not enough at all. Oh, it is rough out here. What is it? Probably like once or twice a week. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So I just download. I couldn't even. It's imagine. awful. Yeah. I just voice memo shit now. But why? Because there's plenty of stage time. There's not. There's not. There's no stage time. No, there's not a lot at all. The local shows will, like the people who run shows, will put you on a rotation of like once a year. Yeah. Like produced outside produced shows. Yeah. And then like the other shows. Why don't you create a show? I, I just, I did for a while. And, and how then, was that? Um, that was okay. I'm, I just was asked to do another show at the lab with somebody else. So I said yes to that. So. Why are you in LA? I know. <laughs> because LA is like, honestly, I, I, I would, I want to <laughs> leave so bad, but I'm already used to it. That's yeah. the only reason. That's I how would, I feel too. I've been here so long. Yeah. Now. I just used to, when you go to another no place, it's so slow. Yeah. It's slower and it's like it's not a lot of creatives mm-hmm. out there, so they're not motivating you. I mean, I know the internet is like showing you like, look at all these people that aren't using their degrees and they're just on the internet. But if you go to a normal people are just have regular jobs. Mm-hmm. You know, like if you go to the, just the middle of America. But um I when I first moved to LA, that was happening to me where I wasn't getting on stage and I would I would Go and bust to all these different places, and I would I was just not getting on stage. And I remember I moved back to Orlando. <laughs> <laughs> I was there for like I was here for like two months. And I was really? Like, oh. I was, yeah, I was like I was twenty years old. I moved here for two months, and I was like I'm going back. <laughs> and then I went back, and then I developed like a really strong feature set, and I come came out here, and everything just kind of I got really lucky. Well, you, know, you put in the work too. I appreciate it, but we're all putting in work. Yeah. You know. But I always say, like, luck doesn't, you need to be prepared for luck. Yeah, yeah. What's that quote? It's um, like, preparation meets, we just talked about, the opportunity meets preparation. Opportunity, opportunity meets preparation. Uh, yeah. I literally just talked about this on another episode. Opportunity meets preparation, I think. That's yeah. what it is. Something like that. I mean, there's weeks where I get up, like, five times a week or something. I have good weeks, but the down weeks, because it's always up and down. So you're like... Uh. <laughs> yeah, 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 what yeah. the hell yeah it's hard to i mean listen i can't imagine like I, I don't there's a lot of places that don't put me up 
you know. I mean, I, I get up from like people book me because they're like, oh, come on, come on this show. And so I, I definitely get up a few times a week. But I don't really try to push it mm -hmm. because I'm on the road. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm gonna get my stage time on the road. And if so I, I don't even honestly I don't like yesterday, uh flappers is they're really nice to me. So anytime I hit them up, I'm like, hey, can I get a spot? They'll just give me a spot. That's nice. And, you know, so I had thought I thought of a joke and I was like, hey, can I get a spot? You got any room tonight? They're like, yeah. And they put me up and I tried out the bit. But for the most part, I kind of stay away from stages, <laughs> you know, because I'm like a little like I don't want to be overwhelmed. Like I'm I'm always I'm performing like, you know, five, six shows on the weekends. Yeah, it's a lot. Which is, and it's which is fine. But the, it's really the traveling. Mm -hmm. You know, you go to and you, you get on a plane and you're in L.A. So 80 percent of America east coast I know. so you're flying so it's like four hours just immediately <laughs> wherever you're going four hours added on uh -huh. and then it's a three hour time change and then it's like it's just a you know it's it's the, it's it's uncomfortable being on a inside of a tin can in the sky and it's just <laughs> like it's you know it's kind of crazy but you know you're you're it's it's uh it's definitely i love it you know i i, I think it's exhausting and it could be overwhelming at times if you don't take care of your body. But I think it's a better job than working at Red Lobster, which I used to do. Oh, really? Yeah. That was a chili head. Chili. Chilies. Chili, baby, <laughs> back ribs. Barbecue sauce. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How, would you be a server? Yeah. How'd you like it? Um, I think I liked it when you were young. I never liked it, but there yeah. was kind of a camaraderie, camaraderie about it, like yeah. of just like being miserable with another group of people. Yeah. Like it kind of was fun and you think about it. And you made money. You made money. You made money. That's the most money you can make outside of a degree. <laughs> you know, For sure. In a restaurant, I guess. But yeah, you make a, I remember making a decent amount of money serving. In Red Lobster, you got the discount card too, right? I think I used to work Darden. at- Darden. Yeah, I used to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that Darden card. Yeah, you can, you can go to Capital One and it's like no one's going there because it's so expensive. But then you got Bahama Breeze. Oh, yeah. And um, you got- uh, Macaroni Grill. Macaroni Grill. Yeah, you got that 10% off. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty dope. And then Darden got bought out. Mm -hmm. And then you, they took the card. And I was like, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I think, though, like everyone always says this, but I think it's good. Like everyone should have to wait tables for a little bit just to like yeah. be a better person. Yeah, I think you know parents should raise their raise their kids better, but that's <laughs> I, that's an option as well. But if they don't, <laughs> yeah, if they don't, yeah, go serve. That's a yeah. good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know some evil servers. <laughs> oh, that's so true. Yeah, I know some evil servers, man. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, but uh, yeah, I, I I used to serve bus. I did a bunch of all that stuff, but you know, I I I, I like this job more. I think it's a better job. Yeah, I think you did great. It's way better. <laughs> Uh, is there one more story from your special that we, you can tell us, like the backstory of it? The backstory of of my special, like the like, like the whole podcast is like the mo miserable moment you made into a joke. You had a your special was full of those. Like the audition one was really funny. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a true story. It's crazy. That was a true. <laughs> everything I said on stage, every joke I did, is is. I'm not gonna say 100 percent true, but they're all they all started 100 percent true, and I just kind of exaggerated. But that was almost word for word what I said. I added the last part, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> but, clear that that part. But, but, <laughs> but someone got mad because they were like, they got mad because they were like, uh, you over here, you know, they like I can't even watch with my kids. You're cussing. Are you, you know? kidding me? Yeah. From that one part? Yeah. And I said, I said in the bit, all I said was hell and ass, which is in the Bible. So I'm like, you can't even read. You gonna tell your kid not to read the Bible? Like, is ass in the Bible? I think so. It's a donkey, right? Oh yeah, 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 in yeah, that yeah, context. Yeah. yeah. So, um, um, but yeah. So someone got mad at that. But that's the only joke I did with any cuss words in it. But it was, it was essentially, it was just telling how to start cussing until 2020, like which is like, <laughs> and I and I, don't, I still don't even cuss in front of like when I'm outside, really. I kind of just cuss in front of like my brother and my boy Ruben, you know, a couple of my friends. And they make fun of me because they're like, you're not good at it. And I'm like, I think I'm good at it. I think you're just used to me not cussing for 29 years. And so you think I'm not good, but I'm pretty good, man. Like, you know, but uh, I think it might be bad. But uh, You don't need it. I don't need it. I, I, it feels weird, but... Um, <laughs> 
but yeah, so I just I, I don't know if I have any um do I have any stories? I did I, I had a couple jokes that I put in there that I, I, I would not I didn't put in there. I took them out. But I have a couple jokes I took out and I'm I was like um I was trying to get him to add it in there. And I was like, you know what? I'll just keep that and I'll put it in my third special. So Oh I'm, yeah. That's perfect. So I got about I got about forty five minutes of my third special. Already done, ready? Yeah, Holy but I mean, shit. it's not ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I got like forty. <laughs> f- it's loose. It's not strong. You got I the mean, bones. It's the bones. like if you come to see me and I do forty five minutes, you will crack up laughing. Mm. But it's not done. So I what I do is I need if I'm doing an hour, I do seventy minutes, and then I just tighten it up to an hour. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, so I, I I'll probably like um I'll probably get to around seventy minutes, uh probably around August, you know I'll probably think of it's probably in August and then I'll just <laughs> tighten it up for another year. That's When's a- your special coming out? <laughs> well, at this rate, <laughs> uh, didn't you do like Jam in the Van or something like that? Or I've done Jam in the Van. Yeah, some clip I I seen some clip do really well. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm 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 trying to push myself quicker. Yeah. Like I feel like I would you like come in. I came into like this with like, okay, it takes 10 years to find your voice. Yeah. I think I was uh, and then I was juggling improv, like the, the groundlings and yeah. stand up. And I feel like a little bit of me kind of got too comfortably too comfortable being too patient. Yeah. To where like after the quarantine, now it's like you got to go on the road, you got to like get followers, you got to do these things to make it a career. You're not like in your 20s just playing. Yeah playing anymore like this is your life and this is what you want to make happen so you know my special i said my goal was to do my first headlining set in june yeah so i was gonna do it in boca at the black box theater back home like but then i did that room and it was not (laughs) what happened was bad it was not where i want to do my first hour oh okay so i'll find a better place oh you it doesn't matter you should just you know get it out the way i know maybe get it out the Uh, way my first hour i did is at tight it was my it wasn't my first hour but it was my first time headline it was in titusville i still have it recording titusville titus yeah (laughs) titusville florida yeah 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 that's what i'm saying oh my god that's what i'm saying okay so i'm gonna be doing my special it does not matter oh wait so your special was in burbank yeah where was that place it looked so cool when you said it it, it looked great calling theater i've never seen anyone do anything there yeah 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 so i'm I'm i made it famous yeah you did it looked sick it's it's like right yes right uh you know where the the you know the charging station for teslas no at (laughs) across the street okay there's like a there's a mall across the street from um a mall across the street from uh flappers okay yes okay it's in that parking lot. I know where the charging tank oh, okay, stations are it's now. Right now next I do. To the now char- I do. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> do you remember when I drove your Tesla? You drove my Tesla. I drove your Tesla. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> no, I don't remember, but I let everyone drive. <laughs> you were very and someone excited. Crashed it. Yeah, yeah. Someone yeah. crashed it. Yeah. When did you drive my Tesla? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this happening. <laughs> it was when we were leaving Nightcap and we raced back. Nightcap. We were leaving Nightcap in Burbank and we were all racing back to this pizza shop. And I won in my what? Honda CRV. <laughs> I'll let you drive my. After we got pizza. Oh, I was, it was like a... you won against my Tesla. Yeah, I did. No you heard way. it here, everybody. <laughs> no, I no. beat him that from, even make sense. from Nightcap in Burbank to the pizza place. What was this 2020, 2019? Um, it was like right after the quarantine. What year was right it? Right after? Right when the club, like. Man, that was not a good time for me. <laughs> that was not a good time. You s- oh, shit. This was your Black Spider-Man year. <laughs> this is my Black Spider-Man year. <laughs> you I said 2019. Like, it was not. Yeah, 2019 was always fine. And then, uh, <laughs> 20, 2020 was when everything started. <laughs> I was stuck in my house. I discovered alcohol. I was like, what's this right here? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you not drink that's why, it? That's why you beat me, because I was drunk. Oh. I was drunk driving. I'm joking. I'm joking. I was not. I would never do it. Uh, <clears throat> wait, so you wait, you just started drinking then? In 2020. Oh, man. No wonder why you got good so quick. You had no alcohol in the way. That is like, if I could tell anyone who was pursuing anything, just yeah, don't I, it's, drink. It's wild, because i seen comedians, and I just got on the phone. I just, I just did a... a a radio interview and I was talking to a guy where he was telling me about how comedians would ruin their life mm-hmm. with like drinking. 
Big time. And I've seen it happen. Yeah. I've watched comedians. <laughs> someone that was funny, and I'm like, this dude's funny. He drinks a lot. Wow. And then you just watch it spiral. And mm -hmm. then, like, I've seen comedians, like, you know, I mean, you know, a bunch of them just kill themselves. You know, like, the, you know, or I can't say, you gotta bleep that out, I guess. Probably. No, no, we've said it all. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay, cool. So far, it's been okay. <laughs> you can get sponsored with, like, saying kill yourself? Uh, well, let's see. So, um, Alani, um, Juicy Peach <laughs> for Preacher's Big Booty. Big Booty. You got to do your butt shake around this can. I am, I am not <laughs> doing no butt. You know what happened? So I was I was doing Penn State, right? Which I didn't. Did you know that there were like 20 different campuses for Penn State? No. Yeah. Well, I didn't know either. Penn State. I went to the wrong. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I went to the wrong campus. Anyway, so but I was doing Penn State. And I happened to be in Pennsylvania, and my boy was there, and he was a comedian. So I'm like, he's like, I'm going to do some open mics. I'm going with you, man. So I go to an open mic. I show up. When was this? And this was last two weeks ago. Oh, my God. Yeah, two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago. So I get on stage. I don't even say my name. Or they're like, all right, give it a preacher loss. And I get on stage, and I'm like, hey, all right. And then some girl goes, oh, my God. <laughs> you the big booty dude. I was like. <laughs> I was like, no, she did not just identify me. As the big booty dude. Oh my god! <laughs> she just say you were the TikTok guy. You didn't. She said you the dude with the big booty, and pulled the camera out like I'm gonna start twerking or something. It was wild. Um, so I didn't oh know I was known god. for. I didn't know I was known for that. I did a couple memes. Uh, you know, but yeah. Well, it's not the worst thing. Yeah, those are my most viral videos now. <laughs> when I do something about my booty, bro. <laughs> bro, there's so many dudes in my DMs. That's why I got to stop. It. No way. All right, what do you mean? No, there's so many guys. I didn't so think about guys. it. I didn't think bro, about it. Bro, a guy is a guy. <laughs> but, you know, a man is still a man. <laughs> so think how aggressive men are with women. Yeah. Uh, okay, a man that has to hit on another man. <laughs> I mean... Cause you know, I'm not gonna. No, no dude is gonna be like, hey, he's he won't leave me alone. You know, so because no. I'm a man, I can't. I got my ego. <laughs> so so they're way more aggressive. Sorry. I don't know why. I don't know why they think I'm. I mean, I guess I get why they think I'm gay. I, <laughs> I, I do some stuff on the internet, and I'm like, that was kind of. Touche. I feel like any comedian could come up. Oh well, gay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any comedian? I don't know, man. Maybe Bill Burr. Not any. He doesn't seem gay at all. There's those gay guys that act like just like bitchy. Bill Burr? Like just bitching about everything. <laughs> yeah, but, If you think about it. <laughs> yeah, but they do it in a tone of voice that's not yeah. Bill, you know? <laughs> you, you know? All right, I was going to do an impression. <laughs> and then I stopped. I was like, this is going to be bad. <laughs> you ever like start to do something? <laughs> I do it you all the time. No, no, yeah, no, I was no, like, no. oh, well, I was like, no, hey, chill, chill. You, you cannot do a Bill Burr. My brain was like, let's try it. No, no, us. We're not gonna see that's your thirties when you go. We pull back. You go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been yeah. down this road before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you got a point. I guess they're not every, but I like that you're <laughs> when a guy has to deal with like girl things it's so fun yeah i don't i don't even know about that because i have stalkers right oh, no do you really but that's what i'm saying see how she's like oh no <laughs> that's not the same thing as you have i can beat up all my stalkers that's, <laughs> that's still scary no it's not is it annoying then maybe a little annoying but they're not i can beat them up that's fine. You know, so if you, like, if someone, if I had stalkers that were the size of Francis and Ganu, that's scary. But all, ah, every single <laughs> one of my stalkers, bro, I could, I don't feel threatened at all. You hear this? You're probably watching. <laughs> it's not, yeah. I, yeah, they're, they're definitely watching. They're absolutely watching. I know you're watching, and I could beat you up. But I wouldn't do that because I know they're harmless. They're not like, you know, they're not going to try to do anything with me. That's okay. Well, I guess I'm oh, sure they want I'll to take back the oh no. Yeah, it's not a, it's not the same. Yeah. So you're like, I, I'm so glad men get to experience the same thing as women. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. I meant the I DMs. I still go walk to my car. I meant the DMs. The DM? That's fine. Not, not, yeah. the, not the stalking. I wish that on no I, one. I still don't even, wish, <laughs> I still guarantee you I don't get as many DMs as you. And I have like, 
I almost have I almost have a million followers. I want to get a million followers by this this year. You can on get my there. Instagram. I have three point four on my TikTok, but Damn. that's like yeah, I don't even use that anymore. I should use it way more. But that's I, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it doesn't matter. My point is, <laughs> I don't get as many DMs as you get because you're a woman. <laughs> You know, you're you're a pretty woman too. If you were ugly woman, I still wouldn't get as many DMs as you, cause you're like dudes are just, yeah, dudes are. I don't I don't get many like the, my audience is like families. Oh really? Like married families that got their life together. <laughs> you know, I got a couple single people out there. You know, a couple random people that are like you know me or just like just, you know random. It's just random, but for the most part, it's a bunch of families that's that are nice married together solid life so they're just coming out to have a good time yeah yeah <laughs> night yeah. out yeah well, babysitters they, there yeah they yeah they, they the babysitter's <laughs> not there they pay for a babysitter oh yeah and they normally don't get out <laughs> so they're drunk i mean they are waste show wasted <laughs> out their mind and then they finally see me and they haven't seen me they only see me on tv and they're like you're real you're real <laughs> And then they just start yelling at me and yeah, but I have a perfect level of, I think a perfect level of fame at the moment. I would like some more of it. I just want the more money. I don't know if I want more fame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know? You can still go places. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I heard performing at like, in like, you know, arenas aren't as fun. Like I, I, I don't know if you heard that before. I haven't heard that before, but I heard the whole weirdness about how you don't make a lot of money from them. I know you don't make a lot of money. You okay. got that's why when you see people do like they sell Madison Square Garden now, mm-hmm. they do two shows because I mean it's a quarter mil to open it up. Jeez. That's just to open the doors, <laughs> a quarter million dollars. So you have to like do you you always see them do multiple shows, but that's like people if they do Madison Square Garden, you got people coming in from Boston, you got come people coming in from like all the surrounding mm-hmm. cities that are gonna come in. And uh, but I I did I did Wembley, and I, and I did the Grove. I did the Grove. Where are these at? The Grove, in the L.A. Oh, like this Grove? The Grove where it's outside. It was oh, fourteen thousand people. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was for Christmas. I performed. I did five minutes after <laughs> like some singers that people were freaking. Oh my <laughs> gosh! You would have thought the Jonas Brothers. It was crazy. <laughs> People were, there was like people crying and I have no, I, I didn't know who they were then. I don't know who they are now. I'm not sure they're broken. Oh, you know who they probably were? Probably, what's that? You know who they probably were? Who? Probably like, nah, they weren't the Direction guys. Maybe they were. I don't know. I oh, just remember maybe. they were, they were the boy band. They, I just remember people freaking out and I went up and not, 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 not that many people freaked out, but I went up. <laughs> <laughs> I did five minutes and I was like, wow, just bombed after the Jonas directions. And then I get off stage and they're like, man, great set. And I'm like, was it? Because no one laughed. They're like, no, it, they did. People were laughing. And But but when you do it outside, oh, you couldn't hear? there's no bounce. To, it doesn't bounce off the ceiling. Oh. So they were just like, they would laugh and it just goes into, you know, it's like a fart. Like if someone farts back there, you're not going to smell it. Right, that's a bad example. My favorite kind of farts. That I don't. I, do you like farts? I like them from a distance. Do you like farts at all, for real? Um, no. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, that'd be kind of weird, but some people like weird things. Some people think spinach is nasty. You know. <laughs> what if I was like, I can't believe you asked. <laughs> then, yeah, I mean, I would be like, that's disgusting, and you know, but yes, uh, uh, I don't like farts. I'm not a fan of farts. I hate farts. I hate <laughs> farting. I hate burping. I hate all that stuff. I just, man. Just I just, give it in. oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate the how, like, you know, like, uh, <laughs> there's like this thing where, you know, uh, you know, <laughs> it's like oh, a no. petition for women to be able to fart like men or like oh, no it's like why can't we have underarm hair and mustaches <laughs> like you can totally do that <laughs> don't say you can't do that i'm not gonna date you <laughs> like i don't want to date somebody that look like thomas <laughs> you know thomas. but I, I yeah i don't like farts i don't like that's like i don't like farts I, when i was it's crazy because when i was a kid i used to think they were so funny <laughs> i would do the thing where like hey, you, do the- hey, you hear that and they're like what i'm like <laughs> I'm like, ah, got it, get it, because I didn't hear anything. I farted, you know. I thought it was the funniest thing ever, and then I don't know what happened. I just got 
to a certain age, and I was like, that's disgusting. <laughs> I hate burping, <laughs> all this stuff. Keep it inside. Yeah, I'm all oh, I'm team I'm team keep it inside. Do you poop in front well. of your boyfriend? No. Okay. I don't know. Some girls be doing it. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no, know. I feel like I've had this debate before yeah. with farts and poops, all of it. I'm like, you have to keep like some sort yeah. of freaking attraction to yourself. Yeah, your office like, can't be in the kitchen. No, no, no. You know? gotta, yeah. yeah. I'm already wearing sweatpants all day. I can't yeah, also yeah, yeah, yeah. just be manning it up everywhere. Yes, yeah, does I can't like if yeah. No, I can't do that. So it's just like. <laughs> 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 I don't like it, man. Oh, there was one other thing from your special that I could not, I super related to. So I am a big hugger as well. Oh, yeah. And I could give a damn good hug. Yeah. But it is, I, when I hug someone and it feels like a skeleton, it's like a skeletor. Like, yeah. with bad huggers. Like. What do you mean? Okay. Like, there's a few friends I have who are really bad huggers. And I just stopped. I have to stop hugging them. But you go to hug, and it's like, like bone. Like it's like it's like like their bodies are moving like the opposite of yours. Yeah. And they're like hiding from your hug. Do no. you have that with? I know one person that hugs. <laughs> What's her name? I love her. But Marie from the Laugh Act. Yeah, Maria. She, she, <laughs> is it Maria? <laughs> We'll edit it. We'll edit it. Oh, <laughs> She's man. not listening to this. Yeah, okay, okay. I love her, but yeah. her hugs are like. I was like, "Do you want a hug?" I, I had to talk to her. I was like, "I was like, do you like hugs?" Yes, I love them. <laughs> okay, because uh, I hug you. It seems like you don't like the. No, what are you talking? <laughs> I hugged you back, and I'm like, "Oh, okay. That's just how she hugs." Oh, but God. yeah, some people give weird. You know, some people get weird hugs, but I love hugs. I just don't. You know. It's just, it is awkward. I mean, the bit was about how you hug someone that's not a hugger and you find that halfway through. Because <laughs> you can, they hug weird. They're like, and you're like, oh, you don't like this. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Like, <laughs> yeah. It makes you uncomfortable. Yeah, it makes me feel, makes me feel weird. Yeah. You know, it'd be weird if you got comfortable. You're like, you don't like this? <laughs> you don't like this hug? I love that's that you weird. don't like this. Yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd be weird. <laughs> I'm comfortable. <laughs> No, but uh, yeah, I love uh, I love hugs. I remember one time I was like, I don't know what I was sad about, but I was sad. Twenty nineteen. I was sad, sooner. No. No, I mean I get sad every, a lot. I get, I mean not like I'm not a sad person, but I feel like I get, I feel like um, um, it's not, I was I wouldn't say a lot. That's not that's not you, true. You have you have emotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't show them. I would never cry. In front of a woman, ever. <laughs> and I would never mm. fart in front of a man. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's like. That's what it's like crying in front of a woman. Yeah, you're like it's farting like a, in front it's of It's like a woman <laughs> farting in front of a man. And she's like, ugh. That is the exact same thing. I am so <laughs> turned off. He just oh, cried man. in front of me. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, that's funny. There's supposed to be silent tears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cried in front of three women. <laughs> And they all were like, you loser. <laughs> really? Yeah, I would never cry for the woman again. Never. <sighs> maybe. No, I'm just never. kidding. It was a maybe callback. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I don't think, I don't think, I'm really toxic when it comes to like, you know, you know, masculine men and all that stuff. And I'm not like Andrew Tate, but I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I do, I don't think, of, I don't think you should be crying in front of, I don't, I don't like, listen, <laughs> this is going to sound <laughs> super controversial, but I don't, I don't like when dudes, Talk about okay. I'm not even gonna say that. I'm not even, <laughs> this is a 30 year old. Yeah, I'm, just not say it. Back. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna say that, but uh, but I think it's great if you got emotions, let it out. <laughs> but he personally doesn't like to, that's all you oh, say. I, I think, I think, I, I, I definitely have you know, everyone has emotions, but uh, my emotions usually look, man, I live in America like in 2024. You know, like a third of the world doesn't have drinking water. Mm -hmm. You know, like we're so spoiled down here that we got to find imaginary problems. <laughs> yeah, it's very you know? true. And and so I, I I feel like most of my problems, you know, it's the world isn't fair, but most of my problems, it's like, all right, bro, like <laughs> suck it up. You know, people aren't gonna like you, you know, from the way you look or the way you sound, or where you're from, and they're just not gonna like you because you can't help that. That's how someone is. So you just kind of. Excuse me. Navigate. Oh, 
Excuse me. Was that a sneeze? No, no, that was a. Uh, I drank too much water. Oh. So I, I think it was the water or the. It was actually gonna be. A, it was a actually gonna be a burp. I just didn't know what to say. Like bless you. Or, <laughs> are you okay? You can just say bless you at all times. <laughs> Why is it only if someone sneezes? Someone says bless you. Well, if I cough, which a cough hurts, a sneeze is like you know. Yeah, it doesn't. It feels yeah, good to sneeze. It does feel good to sneeze. It feels like you just found out you're not the father. You know, you're like ah, relieved. <laughs> Feels great. You've been blessed. Yeah, yeah. But people only say, I mean, I'm sure there's something uh, about that. I think there's like when you sneeze, there's like witches think that you're. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Something like that. That's why. I don't know. You've been cursed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cursed. That's why it's cursing instead of cussing. Cussing is like, doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter. So anyways, we were just saying that men shouldn't cry. Men should not cry. And, you should cry. And women should fart. Fellas, fellas, cry. <laughs> cry in front of your boys, fellas. And and ladies, fart in front of your girls. <laughs> Keep it separated. <laughs> no, nah, you can do whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy. Yep. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever floats your boat or whatever floats someone else's boat. <laughs> but I'm not crying in front of my lady and she ain't farting in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how toxic that seems, man. <laughs> oh, man. Some things just need to stay that way. Um, well, we, I was going to say, is there anything you want to plug? But let's plug again, and we could plug again for an intro. Let's plug away. Plug away. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, man, I, mean, I guess my special, you know, watch my special. Thanks for watching my special. Of course, awesome. it was I, great. I, 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 uh, would you have watched my special if I wasn't coming on your show? Yeah, I actually love watching specials. Oh, do you? Yeah, and Chappelle and I always watch them and text each other after. Man, that's me and Charles, which really? is like Chappelle's like <laughs> other best, well, his, his main best friend. Okay. <laughs> but, but I'm pretty close to Charles, too. <laughs> but uh, me and Charles, we like send each other specials back and yeah. forth. I watch, I try to watch. I try to watch at uh, five specials a week. Wow, that's I try to do one a week. Yeah, I in I, I will at minimum I'll do two. Okay. But I try to watch around five specials, and sometimes I don't finish them all. But I I, I want to see what's going on. Me, that's exactly why I like yeah. watching them, yeah. and it's so much like more fun to watch with that mindset. Yeah. Like I'm always watching every special yeah. with I want to like it. Exactly. And. Please make me laugh. Yeah, yeah. But not and even please make me laugh because a lot of times I'm not going to laugh. You, I laughed during yours. Oh, did you? Yeah, like oh, out awesome. loud a few times. Oh, nice. <laughs> Which is awesome. the best feeling. Oh, that's great. That's it... the best feeling for me right now. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, because I mean, you know, you, you hate your material. So <laughs> <laughs> you do, right? I hate that. I People, I mean, I hate that special. But it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's only because I've done it so many times. I know uh, the twist and turns, and I've heard it. And then I, so after, it's like when you see someone that you think is fine. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my, they are so, oh my. <laughs> and then you keep looking, and you're like, they, okay, they, their earlobe is weird looking, but that's fine. It's kind of, and oh, they got, they got one eyebrow, but that's fine. I just, they still, you keep noticing all the things that's wrong with it. And so I, I watched my special so many times. And I've did that material so many times that I, I just hate it. Mm -hmm. But I do think it's a great special. And uh I appreciate you laughing. I I, I what was the special I watched? I watched Ali Sadiq's special. Uh his um I haven't seen it. Wait, have I not? No, I haven't. Is, ah no! <laughs> we lost him, guys. We lost him. Wait, now I know it's <laughs> Did y'all see that? You up. better. My Did views. You see that? My, no. my uh, views just flew off the roof. Okay. Um, Ali Sadiq. All right, I'll watch it. Oh my God! Wait, is it? Did it just come out, or is this? No, he's he's had these out for years. So I mean, he he dropped this. It was like a third special. I mean, he's I mean he's our generation. Uh, Bill Cosby, comedic wise. Okay. Comedic wise. <laughs> That's the five. Yeah, yeah, but but him like being able to sit on a chair. I mean, he is brilliant. Okay. I mean, you know how like, um, yeah, he's just he's great. So that was the last special I watched, and I laughed out loud a couple of times. But honestly, I was watching him, and I was like, "Wow, I'm not funny." Like that's, <laughs> that's the only time. That's when you know it's a good special. You're like, "Wow, exactly." I suck. You're like, "Wow, I suck booty," you know. But um, yeah, I, he was he was oh, he's so good. But um, yeah, I try to watch. I've watched a few specials, and even ones. Cause I, I'll, I'll talk to other comedians and I'm like, "Did you watch the special?" And they're like, "I don't like that person." It's like you're not watching because you like them. Yeah, you need the variety too. You yeah. can't just watch one type. 
Yeah, it's like, but that's a job. Mm -hmm. That's what you know. Who told me that? It was actually um, 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 Drew Lynch. Drew Lynch. I love Drew Lynch. Shout out to Drew. <laughs> but that dude, he he's he's the one who kind of got me to watching specials regularly. Because I was at first, I was like, I don't want to watch any specials. I don't want to watch something. Then it gets in my head. Then I accidentally do the joke a or something like that. A lot of people say that. Most comics, yeah. that's they're like, they're like, you watch specials. I don't want to watch it. Like I, first, I do it all the time, or I don't want to like pick up on anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So me. That's my whole goal. I'm trying to steal all the material. <laughs> so I try to pick up. I'm like, oh, I could, I could use that material. I could use that. And then I put my little twist on it. You know, no, you know, no. Museum when he did that, you know. no, no, no. But I, I just, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. I mm -hmm. just think that, I think that I, I'm not so much watching. Um, I mean, I'm watching from for so many different reasons. I'm watching wh how, why they do that, how they do that. Mm -hmm. And I'm 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 watching like the the way they shot it because I want to know like my last special for instance I kind of like I found that outfit an hour before we filmed <laughs> you know like I don't want that to happen like a lot of the stuff we did was super last minute you can't tell it looks great mm. but I don't want that to happen again I want to be over prepared I want to yeah. know everything before it's even done I need I want to know what it's going to look like how I'm going to shoot it and all these different so I, I look at how they shoot it. I look at even the cuts. I look at what you know the theme of it. I just look at different things, and I, I think that I'm I'm really personable. I just tell my story. Mm -hmm. I tell stories that happen to me. That dog story that didn't happen to anyone else. The um, you know, me not cussing till I was you know like uh, till I was 25 or whatever. Like no one's who who else is doing that? you know <laughs> like so I I just tell things that you know happen to me personally, and um. And I, 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 I do it because it's work. You know, I want, like, I don't ever want to get, because I, I, I have gotten to that point where, I, I you know, I just kind of go on autopilot. And that's how you suck. That's mm -hmm. how you stop growing. Yeah. Not suck. You know, you're always going to be fine. But, like, when you're just like, oh, I don't need to write. I write on stage. It's like, oh, that's what most people do. But, you know, the elite, they write off stage and on stage. Mm -hmm. what's, the, what's, what's the drawback? I don't understand what the issue would be if you wrote off and on stage. I don't you just know. get better. Yeah, there's no negative. There's no negative. There's only positive. So I try to write off. I try to write on stage. And um, I even try to write when I'm, like, in, like, conversation. with. If I meet a stranger, I'll, I will bit them so hard because <laughs> they're not a comedian. Bit you know? them? Oh, I will bit them. So I would throw a bit that I just thought of, and I would tell, I would start a story, just so I can do the bit on them, because because uh, I, I want my bits to be like I'm just you know conversing with someone. Mm -hmm. I want it to be like I'm talking to. So that helps me develop, you know, uh, it it more of a, a natural way of telling the joke, and I'll just tell I'll, I'll do the bit, you know, and I won't tell them it's a bit. I'll just be like, yeah, you ever have a pet dragon? Man, that guy was funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it sucks when it bombs. <laughs> just slowly back yeah, away. Yeah, it just bombs. And you're like, that wasn't funny. So what do you do? You're like, I'm a, I'm a construction worker. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to build some drywall between my feelings <laughs> real quick, you know. Um, but, yeah. Oh, it's good to hear, though. I love to hear, like, when people watch specials, when people write off and on stage. Yeah. I, that's how I feel about all of that, like, I have if, when I get stage time, but like that's when I see the progress. Like I'll write at home, figure out what I want to say, voice memo, do all that stuff, yeah. and then on stage is when it like just comes together. Then watch it come back. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah. But how do you just like the one? Well, Louis Louis C.K. says that he just like will make his bullet points and then um, go off of that. And then I just started watching. He told me about that Beatles documentary where they had to come up with like I think it was like fourteen songs in two weeks or something like that yeah. to perform live. And like how just repetition, you'll just bust it out, just be just every day and every day and every day. Wow! And so I'm watching that. I, how many drugs do they do? On camera, none so far. Oh, you did, but you could tell. They actually seem like really normal. Wow! And like cool and like chill. Like it is. That's the probably the most <laughs> shocking thing about this the whole watching the whole thing, is they just seem like like if you just go hang out with some comics, they're just like chill, happy dudes. Yeah, that seems hard um, because we're not musicians. Yeah. But if someone was like, "Here's a here's a team of comedians. <laughs> we need you to write an hour in two weeks," that seems 
uh, pretty hard, <laughs> right? It seems it seems just as hard, but it seems like oh, this is kind of doable. If you have a bunch of comedians and then you or like a movie or something like that, I don't know. I just feel like I can think of ideas really easily, and they just they don't just making the idea good is hard. Yeah, totally. You know. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, that's like our notes. We have all of these ideas. Yeah, 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 yeah. So many ideas. Every What's a joke that you do that doesn't work, and you're like, "How does this not work?" Uh, that doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, well, I have one that just started not working because I moved it. Why you? You even. moved it. I what moved do you mean? It. I moved it to a new home in my lineup, <laughs> in my set, in my lineup, in my set. How's it not work though? I don't know. It used to always work, and I moved it and I changed the setup. Did you is, did you move it from the beginning to the end? Because if in the, in the beginning they usually laugh easier anyway. It was like no middle to middle, and it, it's crazy. But it makes. Can I know the joke? Yeah. So, okay. I had a joke that um, I don't like when people use the word honestly. Because I don't believe a word they say. Like to me, that's bullshit when someone says that yeah. word. So then I say like a made up story about like how my friend called me and she was like, "Oh my god, Jared broke up with me." But like honestly, I'm like happy he did. And I'm like honestly, you can do so much better. And it worked. <laughs> but now I added it behind this joke I do about I lost my eye. <laughs> it's just funny you said one eyebrow. I lost my eyebrow last year. It fell off because of stress. I guess I got alopecia randomly. <laughs> It's not funny. I'm not. I was in lab. I was laughing. I got a text that message. <laughs> no, uh, I need to crazy. say, why are you laughing? <laughs> oh, no, I know. I know your neighbor. <laughs> I know your neighbor. You really? He just texted me. That's so funny. Oh, my God. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, my God. That's hilarious. That's good. He's awesome. Uh, as I said, it's good that he lives there. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's so funny. Um, oh. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> How do you know it was me? Am I that I, loud? I guess. I don't know. Wow. When you put these headphones on, you're you like, I'm in the club shit. by myself. <laughs> that's why I love you know? the headphones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They put you in good. the zone. I'm in the zone, baby. Um, Out of zone. Uh, um, so, yeah, I used to have this joke where <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I used to say like I used to think I had I mean I actually did this joke di I do it differently now and it works okay but this is how the original joke I actually did the <laughs> joke in my special oh okay so you're gonna know this joke but I was saying I used to think I had like superpowers mm. until I oh, was oh I love this one <laughs> so much which you're so good at callbacks Okay. Like, you know how like, like we say we watch specials? That was yeah. one thing I was like, man, callbacks. Thank you, thank you. I love callbacks. <laughs> it's just great. Like, sometimes they're not even funny. You're just like, oh, <laughs> you said that earlier. You know, but um, yeah, so that's one of my favorite jokes. But the, originally, I used to do it how um, I used to say it like this. I said I used to think I had superpowers, but I stopped thinking that around like 21. But I, I used to, the reason what made me think, what made me stop thinking I had superpowers, I was driving. In a car, there was like an animal, and I tried to get around the animal. I swerved, then my car flipped. Holy shit! My car flipped. Of course, it's totaled and everything. Airbags came out, window shield shattered. Oh my and god! And I had my, I had my seatbelt on, so I didn't get hurt. And I was, and then, then I stopped. Obviously, I stopped believing I had superpowers because, <laughs> like, now I know. <laughs> and it never worked. Really? It never worked. No. I never worked. <laughs> I used to be like, now I know I have superpowers. <laughs> and nobody would laugh. <laughs> and it went from that to um, suck me. <laughs> Bro, when I first did that joke, uh, when I first did that joke, uh, the superpower bit, I did it at uh, Laugh Factory. <laughs> and Kelsey Cook was there, Finesse Mitchell. And there was some other cat. I think it was Adam, Adam, uh, Adam Ray. Okay. But I, I did the joke and it bombed <laughs> so bad. And the punchline is, uh, you know, uh, um, suck, man. That's the punchline. <laughs> so you, it was so embarrassing. <laughs> and then no one was laughing. Then Finesse uh, Mitchell in the back goes, ha! And I was like, <laughs> that was a, a laughing at me joke, not uh, laughing with me. Yeah, yeah. And I get off stage and Finesse is like, uh, don't ever do that again. <laughs> And, it, and now it works. That was fun. In your eye. And hey. that's, in your eye. <laughs> no, but that's my one of my favorite jokes. But. It's so funny. I keep referencing Louie because I always study Louie. But Louie says his best jokes end up being the ones that don't work at first. <laughs> what? What did Vinny say? <laughs> what the fuck did Vinny say? <laughs> 
I hope you don't hear me whacking off. Oh my God. I hope I don't hear anyone whacking off that loud through a wall. That, that would, is wild. I would feel bad for your dick because that's terrifying. Um, oh my God. That's really freaking funny. That's funny. Um, okay, where were we? So, what do you want to plug? <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I want to. That's so uh, funny. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. How do we get off there? You keep it's her fault. We keep she keeps getting us off track. Um, so yeah, I just watched my special. Uh, if you have not watched my first specials on Amazon Prime, go check that out. Be some BT Plus, Roku, all that's called Get to Know Me. It was shot in 2019, and then watch part two. You know uh, my my special uh, that drops on YouTube, and you can watch it anywhere. And uh, and then I guess follow me on social media: Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> All that. Yeah, you got to get to your one million. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get to one million, baby. Let's get to my, my YouTube special. To Let's get that to 72 views. That's what I'm naming for. <laughs> if we can get that, that'd be great. <laughs> it's like five people viewed it, which is whatever. I only spent 80 grand on it, so I don't, I'm not upset. <laughs> I'm not upset. I just need to make my money back. So watch... Mom, no. share you yeah, gotta yeah. share you like gotta share. comment subscribe yeah. all those things yeah. we'll boost that little algorithm yeah that'd be awesome all right well thank you for doing it absolutely thanks for having me thank you guys for watching bye see you man